about the, the role that England will play and the importance of it in the past. Yeah, there's a, about in, in 2002, I read a book uh, uh, called uh, Antichrist and a Cup of Tea by Tim Cullen. And I was already, I was very skeptical that we could, uh, that the Bible would allow uh, uh, Christians at the end of the age to know the identity of Antichrist uh, at least before he, he uh, arose, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, but um, a pastor friend of mine who had read Antichrist and Cup of Tea challenged me on that. He said, David, he says, in, in 2 Thessalonians 2, the Paul, Apostle Paul is talking about Antichrist arising and the, and, and the, and, and the unbelievers. And there, the, the, word re, the word revealed is used. That in this, you know, it's going to be revealed to these people, okay, in due time, right? Yes. After, the, after the strong delusion. Now, but in, in, in Revelation, chapter 13, we're talking about the mark of the beast. Christians are told to calculate the number. Yeah, that's true. So he said Christians who know their Bibles and you know, will be able to calculate the facts surrounding a guy and, and reach a conclusion as to whether he's a likely candidate for Antichrist or whether he's not a likely candidate. And, and, he, and, this, and this pastor, a friend of mine, says, David, I've read Antichrist in a cup of tea. This guy calculates, and I think he's mm. right. So I read it, and, his con- and he was the whole book, from beginning to end, shows all of the reasons why we should believe that, uh, that, that Antichrist will come from the House of Windsor, which is Prince Charles and Prince William. Oof. And I think, you know, about two-thirds of the way through the, the book, I just closed it for a few minutes and set it on the table, and I said, okay, I'm, I'm convinced. Really? <laughs> <laughs> wow. But what, what, what really, what, what really kind of settled it, about a year and a half after I, I became convinced that it was, it was going to be, you know, and of course, remember, Antichrist is going to be a prince. He's not going to be a king. He's going to be a prince. You know, Daniel 9.27 calls him a prince. So he's got to be a prince. And he's got to come from the revived Roman Empire, which is Eastern Europe, I mean, which is Western Europe and Great Britain. Mm -hmm. So, um, but what really got it uh, uh, kind of solidified my thinking about a year and a half later was when I I realized that that in um, in in in, 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 in ancient Judaism, and it's practiced today, a, a man cannot become a rabbi until he turns 30, which is why Jesus started his ministry at 30. And, and the and New Age, you know, and, and other occult circles, former Satanists are telling, have been telling me for a very long time that the, that the, uh, that the year in which the Illuminati plans to, produ- to stage their World War III and, and, and produce their Masonic Christ on the world scene is 2012. It's not that far away. Mm-hmm. Right. Now, that is the, and the major reason for it is that that is the, that is the year in the, in the ancient Maya, Mayan calendar where the world changes into a new age. Hmm. And, the, and the new age is called at the age of Aquarius. But 2012 stuck in my mind one day because I realized that Prince William turns 30 on June, on June 21, 2012. Interesting. Isn't that interesting? Very interesting. Mm-hmm. And I, I studied, I studied this, this circum- this, the circumstances around his birth. Princess Di was, you know, was getting really close, but there was no indication that, that he would come on June 21, which, of course, is, is summer solstice in the occult calendar. So they mm-hmm. induced her so she would come, you know, so the baby would be born on the 21st, on summer solstice. Wow. So it just kind of solidified things for me. I, I, I do believe that, uh, I do believe Antichrist will come out of the house of women. And the reason that this is important to people, some people might be listening saying, well, that's your belief, but... What's of significance to me is because as we talk about this global government that uh, the New World Order is pushing, and it's undeniable we're, we're moving that direction, it's because they're setting up a, 
a world government for this individual to reign over, right? Mm, and he's not going to be a good guy. No. No, he's not. And uh, you see, you've got you to understand something, too. The, the, the British monarchy system, for the last 1,000, 1,100 years, has been the, um, the hotbed of, of uh, witchcraft passed from generation to generation in world history.